Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. And this video, guys, is a 2018 year-end review video and channel update. I haven't put a channel update video out in a while. I thought, you know what, the end of the year rolled out a couple days ago. Going into the new year, I think this would be a good point to do that. So first things first, this is my first video of 2019. I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers. It does mean a lot to me for anyone who viewed my content or still views my content on at least regular basis. Or if you're a new subscriber, Thank you for watching this very first video. I want to kind of give you an update of what 2018 was for me. So first things first, I got my note cards here, so let's talk about it. 2018 was both a good year and bad year for my channel. I know it sounds sort of like an oxymoron, but that's what it really was. Um, 2018, we introduced some really good things. First things first, we introduced streaming. Streaming was a big part of my channel going forward. I didn't know anything about streaming. The beginning part of 2018, I actually talked with a friend of mine, I met online Cletus Selden, who was a professional boxer and longtime Funko collector, uh, big time geek. Him and I worked together to put together the stream, and I've been streaming ever since, at least for 2018 goes. Also, we could talk about giveaways. Giveaways was really big in 2018 for me. Um, I did almost a giveaway every month or close to every single month. A prize went out, usually sponsored by Entertainment Earth. I think they were really good prizes. Uh, Tate's Comics, which is a, a comic book store in Laurel Hill, Florida, which is really linked with my channel. I did a lot of stuff with them before. As far as giveaways, I've walked around their store shooting video. They sponsored my second year anniversary video, which is sort of a scavenger hunt where I basically had the uh, people watching the videos had to put together uh, words to get prizes, three different prizes I had set up. And I want to thank again Tate's Comics for sponsoring that particular video and that giveaway. It was very, very fun to do. Uh, if you didn't know, my channel was created in 2016 on July 4th. I want that day to be a special day for my channel, and that's when I rolled my channel out. Also, subscriber growth. My channel has grown exponentially, and I think, for the most part, it's been good subscribers. Uh, when I started my channel out originally, like I said, in 2016, I had a lot of issues. I did a lot of sub for sub stuff. If you're new to YouTube, I do not recommend sub for sub. It does not work. My numbers are extremely inflated, so I can't really tell people who watch my content and who don't watch my content. The biggest negative that came out, in my personal opinion of 2018, was in February of 2018, which was loss of monetization. All small-time YouTubers, if, you, if you're a small-time YouTuber, you know what I'm talking about. YouTube changed their policies for putting ads on their videos. So you had to have two things to get monetization. Of course, monetization means to put ads that would roll on videos that you would either click on or watch, and YouTube would pay you small amounts of money per video or per, per click, basically. They changed how they did everything for in February 2018, where you had to have two things. You had to have 4,000 hours of con uh, consecutive watch time and 1,000 subscribers. You had to have both those things. I have 1,000 subscribers, but my watch time has always been on the low side, mainly because that inflated YouTube count I mentioned earlier for subscribers, it really affected my watch time in minutes. I'd rather have less views and less subscribers and higher watch time in minutes. That has ex it hurt my channel erroneously it has hurt me big time. Um, I try to put the words together for that because it really hurt my channel in as far as its growth goes because I cannot get monetization. I lost it unfortunately. I ran the numbers a little while ago and I had, I had about 132 minutes, 132,000 uh, minutes of watch time for the entire year. To get monetization so you'll know if you take that 4,000 hours of watch time and break it down monthly, it's about 20,000 minutes of watch time per month. It's about 240 thousand minutes of watch time. I'm about 100, 132,000 minutes of watch time, about 2,200 hours of watch time. I'm a little under half the number I need to get to that magical 4,000. I really wish I could get the watch time up higher and I wish I could get my monetization back, but unfortunately I can't at this moment and that's okay. I came to grips with it. I understand why YouTube did what they did. I really wish my monetization was back. I hope to eventually get to that point again to get my monetization back to my channel so I can put ads back on my channel. So I can get revenue for my streams and for my channel again like I had in the past. But unfortunately, that has been lost to me. I really hope to get down that road sometime in the near future, but I don't know. I'm still tr struggling to do that, and I do still enjoy putting out content with you guys every single week. Now, if you don't know, I put out usually streams on Mondays, usually 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Streams run for about 30 minutes. I decided to cut them back from an hour because I had lost about half the audience 
for an hour long stream. I do hour long streams now as special streams, meaning if it's gonna be reveals for Senior Comic Con or New York Comic Con, if it's something that's a big set of news that drops, I'll do a special hour-long stream, but most of my streams are 30 minutes. Usually it's some type of topic that I'll talk about, get some audience, audience participation. That's what I usually do in my streams. Then I put out content on Wednesday and content on Sunday. That's how I normally do my, my content release at a given week. Also, some things that happened in 2018, if you're not aware, I actually hold a podcast. I'm a big wrestling fan myself. Many of my subscribers who watch my channel are wrestling fans as well. Me and another YouTuber named Collecting and Hobbies, another way, otherwise known as Star Wars Collecting and Hobbies, do a podcast called Worldwide Wrestling Podcast. I'll put a link in the description box of this video if you're interested in it. Uh, him and I would normally put a podcast out about two, two and a half hours per podcast. We're deciding, and it would run for about twice a month. We're going to be changing our schedule up going in 2019 we're going to try to put them out more regularly closer to the releases of pay-per-views for WWE he handles all the WWE content portion of it I handle all the independent news stuff that's not WWE and again there'll be a link in the description box of this video if you want to listen to those podcasts him and I are really entertaining we bounce off one another a lot he knows a lot about WWE. I handle a lot, as I mentioned before, a lot of independent stuff. Now let's talk about some stuff that's happened in 2018 going into 2019. People have asked me about a lot and I have no one to blame but myself. This is on me, guys. And I do apologize big time for this. Um, streaming. Streaming hasn't been regular in the last three weeks as far as recording of this video goes. I had a trip in the middle of December I took to Universal Studios. The following Monday, I was, following Monday normally I would stream. I was extremely tired from that trip. That next following Monday was uh, the holidays, which was Christmas Eve. No stream for that particular day. And the next following week, instead of doing a stream, which would be New Year's Eve, I did a top 10 list of collectibles in 2018 I picked up. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll link that in the description box also of this video if you want to watch it. I spent a lot of time putting that video together, spent a lot of effort really stitching how that video would work, where the items would fall on that list. I take a lot of pride in that video. I thought it came out really, really well. But that went up instead of a stream. Streaming going forward will continue the following Monday, this coming Monday. I do apologize again. Streaming will go back <coughs> to its normal basis of 30 minute streams. Now let's talk about toy hunting. Um, I haven't had a toy hunt video in probably close to a month. And I really have no one to blame but myself. I know you guys really like my toy hunts. I get very excited in my toy hunts. I get very animated. When you see me getting going, yes, 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 with an item, I very much get uh, uh, energized and enthusiastic when I find something on the shelves. Maybe not as enthusiastic when the camera's rolling, but I, I do get very enthusiastic when I find something, especially something cool in the wild. And I haven't had a toy hunt <coughs> since Black Friday. That was the last toy hunt that I think I did. I remember correctly. Yeah, I think it was toy hunt number 60 or 61 was the last toy hunt I did. I do apologize. I want to do more regular toy hunts with you, uh, with my audience. Um, there's some really cool items coming out, at least the first quarter of, G of this year, 2019, January, February, March. Some really cool stuff coming out. I want to do some toy hunts for that. Funko stuff, action figure stuff, some great stuff coming out in the near future. Keep an eye out. There will be some toy hunts in the near future future. Giveaways. I mentioned that a couple minutes ago, giveaways. Um, I really take a lot of pride in my giveaways. I try doing US-based giveaways only only because the pricing of shipping internationally is extremely expensive. Uh, the most recent giveaway is still going on right now. Of course, it was from Dynamic Displays. It was this Funko One Up box you can see here. Um, the very cool item, Dynamic Displays built this for me as a demo piece. Uh, this is a custom-made item. This giveaway is still running currently. Again, I'll put a link for this item in the description box of this video as well. It's inspired by, of course, Stan Lee, if you didn't already know. Um, it's going to be running for about another week, as far as I remember. Uh, and, and I'll pull the winner that following, I believe, Wednesday. We're going to pull the winner for that video, um, for, 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 the community, for this giveaway. Uh, we had about, I think, 70 entrants so far into this giveaway, close to, I think, 700 physical entries themselves. Getting a lot of traction for this giveaway. I didn't think I'd get that much. I was going to be happy about 20 to 30 people, but having close to 70 people involved in this giveaway, I'm very excited for. I hope you guys will like this, whoever wins this giveaway. It's a really cool piece. I'm very happy to give this out to one of my viewers and subscribers. Next giveaway is going to be happening after this one. About two weeks later, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. Uh, I talked about it on the last stream I did. It was one of two uh, properties, which will be Funko. It's a full stream of products, full line of items. Uh, sponsored again by Entertainment Earth. Again, big shout out to Entertainment Earth for putting uh, this product out for me. 
It's either gonna be Lord of the Rings or it's gonna be Fallout. I don't wanna spoil it for you guys. I want you to, to uh, stay tuned for that giveaway. It's gonna be going, I'm thinking about two, two and a half weeks is when I'll do that next particular giveaway. And subscription unboxing videos in 2019. If you don't already know, I subscribed to a company called Collector's Case. It, they did probably one of the best subscription boxes I've ever had. I've done many subscription boxes from many different companies. Most of them were hit and miss. Collector's Case is the one that has a lot of traction, very consistent with their boxes. The price point was very reasonable, about $25 for their standard box. Usually you have a one in three chance of pulling an autograph out of those boxes. They had the Sure Thing case which you could upgrade your normal box. Usually about $50 to $60 you get a guaranteed autograph. Collector's Case was a really, really good company. They're readjusting their business model. They're making some changes and they have a blackout period and they held off any cases currently right now going into 2019. So I'm going to pick them up again when they start back, when they release that blackout period and readjust their business model. I will be going back with Collector's case. So in conclusion, I want to thank everybody who watches my content, watches my channel. Even if you watch one video, watch many videos, I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart who watches and subscribes to my content, at least on a semi-regular basis. I know you can be watching anything out on YouTube. You want to spend your time and effort watching and staying, doing stuff with me. And I really appreciate it a lot from the bottom of my heart. Uh, going forward in 2019, we have more giveaways. We have, of course, the dynamic display giveaway going on currently. It's going to be going on for about another week. Week. Two weeks later, we're going to be doing another giveaway sponsored by Entertainment Earth. Streaming will be continuing going forward as far as next week goes. I'm going to be starting streaming up again. The Worldwide Wrestling Podcast will be continuing to put up podcasts usually. Now, once every week, we're going to be trying to do. We're going to make shorter episodes and more frequent. Uh, toy hunts will be happening hopefully every week or every other week, maybe once every two weeks at the latest, because I do want to do more toy hunts with you, my audience. I have a lot of fun doing it. And again, unboxing videos, we have to hold off until Collector's Case releases the blackout. Until that time, that'll be the only box I want to get, at least for the moment right now. And again, I want to thank everybody who watches my channel. Definitely click that like button. Always click subscribe, which will be a picture of my face. When you subscribe to the channel, click that bell icon to notify my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care guys, I'll see you next video, and bye bye.